All right, Battle of Cedar Mountain. Finished the uh, 1830 game turn. Uh, well, the Union line has pretty much uh, collapsed. Every brigade is combat ineffective, except for this one here. The uh, 3rd Brigade from the 1st Division of 2nd Corps. Of course, they were the ones that were over here defending this victory location that is now... Uh, definitely in Confederate hands. So they were able to escape. A couple, only two artillery batteries they have left have also escaped. Well, so far, uh, AP Hill's second column is right on their heels. Um, Winder and uh, finally got Thomas into an attack posture. They just, they shattered the secondary line that the Union had tried to set up. So, now it's become a question of the Union trying to fall back, hold on for one more turn until reinforcements come on and keep that victory location out of Confederate hands. Uh, I wanted to make a note too about the fatigue rule. I had it wrong. I was applying it to individual units. Fatigue is applied to an entire brigade. So if one unit does something to cause fatigue, it affects the whole brigade. So you Simpler, because you can just mark the uh, brigade leader with the fatigue marker. Um, lots of collapsed units. There's one of your, uh, that was one of the Union batteries that got overrun. It's been abandoned. Um, the other one over here, uh, that will be removed from play. I need to take that off of there. Um, in the recovery phase, the last phase, you flip from abandoned one to abandoned two, and then at the end of the next one, you just remove the gun. It's eliminated, captured, however you want to talk about it. All right, AP Hill's other column. I go ahead and switched him over, moved him over towards the road to go ahead and probably make a hole and get him on through there. Um, I think I'm going to just keep Winder pressing just to keep the, the Union moving, get that victory location right there, and then start getting ready for the onslaught of the third core that's going to come on from the Union side. And it won't take them long to reach the battlefield. They'll come in right up here. Watch, sorry about that light. They'll come in up here and then just head down that pike right there. Um, casualties. Uh, no more new regiments lost for the Confederacy. Uh, the Union, I think they lost one more regiment. One of the red guys there from Augur's division. Um, they did lose these two regiments into the route so they can potentially come back into the fight. Uh, what it is is they uh, they had to roll on the UDD and ended up routing. One of those, if they take a second disorder from, I think it's pre-cohesion, let me see here. Second disorder from, yeah, right there. One of those pre-shock where they roll, they pass there, they just lose a strength point and retreat, but if they fail, they route. So if you route, they get removed off the box, off the game. They go into the route, route box. They have to stay in there for one full turn. Then they can attempt to recover. Yeah, but it's a die roll thing. All right. Uh, Bev Robertson Cavalry is all together now. Might make a move with them up this road here, up this side. See if they can get on the flank. Um, Bayard's Cavalry, well, they're going to have to fight them. They'll have to stop them. It, it'll probably decimate them, but they're really the only force left. Yeah, so I guess the thing now is to just try to get the Union back. Maybe into the woods there and protect that victory location until the Third Corps gets on the board. I pulled most of the Confederate collapsed units out. Just going to go ahead and pull them away from the fight. They won't serve any purpose. Yeah, it's not looking good for the Union. I think the Confederate, the numbers are just too much. Now, they don't have any more reinforcements, but it doesn't look to me like they need them. But I guess we'll find out as soon as Third Corps gets on the map. All right, the victory points. Go over here, take a look. Confederate's got four more, and Union kept one. So, no location changes, but now it's 20 to 13 in favor of the Confederacy. Uh, like I said, if you got any comments about this, just drop them down below. If I've missed something, I hope it's one of those things where you just sort of catch rules that you didn't have right or you catch something new as you play each turn and come across certain situations. 
I hope y'all are enjoying this. Uh, one, hopefully, but y'all, I'll, I'll do an activation live so you can see me actually moving as soon as I get all the proper camera equipment I need. That's my intention is to do that. All right, we'll catch you after we complete the uh, 1915 turn. Thanks for watching.